good chicken or shrimp. <laughs> wow, survivor friends, what do you know? Groovy. Um, what a bitch Eat kill. This map. Oh wait, this ain't that bad. Compared to what I thought it was. It's Claudette, Claudette played it smart. Look at that yeah, big, big ass, ass bird in our backyard. backyard. There's something burning back there? That's shitty. Oh my. Cause he morried her too. He came in with an ebony mori like a little cunt. In the cornfield I bet you. You know I thought Bill was kidding when he was joking about her having camouflage, but he's absolutely correct. What? About Claudette being camouflaged in this game. She is. She's camouflaged like a motherfucker. Gonna take you to the hatch. Stop with me. Take you to the hatch. Or to a hook. He's hooking you. <laughs> what? What a bitch! Damn, girl. All I gotta do is get that urban evasion, and then I'm gonna run it with my unbreakable and borrowed time and metal of man. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, I'll talk to you when I get back home later. All right, later, buddy. All right, now that that bit of commentary is out of the way, I'm, I don't think I'll talk much this round, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, commentate. While I play and watch and see what I think and tell you my thoughts and why I do certain things. You see, this is a Survivor Friends group. They already got my ruin right off the rip. They're communicating, it's obvious they're communicating. Because I, I can just tell. I eat that. And usually I don't play very well with Billy, but this game I didn't do bad. They're obviously really coordinated and they know what they're doing and when you get a group like this you have to use every trick you know about the game or you're going to get teabagged at the exit gate. That's what these guys do. They're sweaty. Their perks prove it. They want to survive. They want, they thrive on surviving so they can, you know, Make the killer look stupid and try to teabag at the end. And I got messages, hate mail, of course, at the end. But I think I played it kind of fair. I don't think I played too harsh on them. Now they said I was a camper and all this and that. And, yeah, you know, teach their own. You can say what you want. But if I camped the entire game, I would have never got the 4K. Because if someone camps the entire game, you lose. You can't camp in Dead by Daylight and win a game, or they'll just get all the fucking shit done right beneath your heels. That's just the facts. You cannot camp on this game, or you lose. But, you can patrol. If I was face camping, I would be in big fucking trouble. And if I could hear, I'd be able to find exactly where this bitch is at. Good news, people. I'm getting a fucking new headset. Between the 18th and 23rd, I got it off Amazon. And I'm going to be able to hear out both ears again. Now, what the fuck do they expect? They keep unhooking early. 
They don't give themselves time to do any generators while they're unhooking. Now, because of Decisive Strike's new change, I decided to pick this guy up first. And I got two people down. Why would I leave? With this generator uh, needing to get regress further. This thing went from 99% to almost... Uh, it's probably going to end up at zero. Now make sure she's still in the area. She is in the area. This is a SWF group that thrive on teabagging killers at the exit gate. I can tell their play style and how they play. They're sweaty. They want so hard to live and survive. And I'm going to try my best not to let them. That whip sucked. That was a bad whip. But I did get rid of God Palette, so I'm happy there. They got both of them up. So, yeah, I act like I'm chasing her, but I knew she was coming right back. And I'm going to replace her, him with her, just because it's still map pressure. Why not? Everybody's injured now. So, this Jenny's done. Everybody is fucking injured. So, it's an instant down if they go for the save. So I'm checking on these generators to make sure that they're not going nowhere. And I kind of have a hunch that they're probably going to be trying to save soon. Just because that's what they do. And she's close to death anyways. She's only got like a quarter left of wiggle. And then I find this. So he's down now. That's two people not doing anything and one of them about to be dead. So, if I can get her killed off, I'm not getting teabagged at the exit gate with three generators left. And I just checked on three I could keep within, you know, my radius. So, they're going to probably... I realize they're probably going to gen rush, but just to be safe, I'll make sure she dies. Then I kind of look for the ash. Alright, so fair enough. They got a generator that I don't really care that they get. That's fair. And I got a death out of it. Win-win. Then I'm going to start getting hate mail because, you know, why not? You're a prestige Claudette with another Claudette on your team with a Medal of Man on your team. And you're going to sit there and tell me that I'm toxic. I don't give a shit. I'm not your friend. I'm your killer. My job is to kill. And I got... I think I hooked everybody but that one person like three times each. So everybody got hooked three times but that one person got hooked one less time. And I still got ruthless. That is ridiculous. I don't give a fuck. The fucking pipping system sucks. They're going to be trying to crowd your hook, and you got to fucking make plays to where you keep them from unhooking right fucking in front of you. Watch this, dude. Alright, stupid. I'm surprised Metal Man didn't proc. I probably chainsawed him, though, so it don't get a chance to proc. So, I chase her, like, far enough back to where I think I can chainsaw hit her, because I know what she's doing. That's his third hook. He's dead. Everybody's on third hook now. Got her down. Then we chase this last person. That's the first borrowed time that I came across. So if I was camping the entire fucking match, which I obviously wasn't, I patrolled when I had two people down, which is smart. It's a strategy, people. I don't have to play by your fucking rules. I am your fucking killer. I'm not your fucking babysitter. I don't tell you how to play. Don't tell me how to play. I don't tell you to be toxic as fuck. And teabag people at the exit gates. And I know that's what they do. This group plays together every fucking day. And they thrive on fucking making the killer look bad. And they, then they gloat and rub it in. So that's the game. I don't find this last person. I was thinking about giving a match just to be a smart ass. Because there's no way I'm going merciless, anyways. The only best I can do is ruthless with the way this game went. 
But yeah, it's that easy. Fuck them. They can suck my dick. I'll play however the fuck I want. So I just search around, that's it. That's how the game went. I think it went beautifully. I think it went really well. I got Thananthropia on. I had mul everybody injured at one time. And two people on the ground. Well, one person on the ground, one person hooked. And the other two were injured. They weren't going to get very much fucking done. So I'm just going to go on the opposite side of the map. Let them unhook safely and just kick my ass. No, if they're going to go try hard, so am I. And I hope you enjoy this video and learn something from it. Fuck a survivor friends, uh, sweaty group.